Right, well, today is a sorry state of affairs. Um, so, my diesel heater would not fit under the passenger seat with the mounting plate it comes supplied with. I did think about not using it and, I don't know, trying to rig up something myself. But it's turned out to be easier just to move my diesel heater. Um, it's still not under the bed, but it's not, it's kind of near it, which is kind of a compromise, I guess. Like I said, van life compromise. Um, so yeah, I just didn't feel comfortable putting it under the seat, doing it myself as my first one without without a mounting plate, without really knowing what the hell I'm doing, if I'm being completely honest. So I'll show you what I'm up to. Right, so the mounting plate I'm referring to is this one. It goes under the diesel heater. So right now, this is what we're doing. You can see the two holes. Don't worry, that's not how it is underneath. They are in a straight line underneath. It's just when I put the drill bit through, it tilted to one side, sort of like that. So the, the holes come up at the wrong place, this hole here. It is underneath, they are in a straight line. I don't know if you'll be, no, the camera can't pick it up, but you can see daylight through them. It is in a straight line. It's just when the drill bit tilted by about five mil and it's knocked it out of proportion anyway. So, oh, let's grab this. So that is going to go uh, somewhat like that. I'm not, this is just a rough hole. Um, sadly, as uh, I'm sure Rich from Beyond the Van will know, that is taped up because that is a friggin' timber for the floor. That's a, um, that's a 32 by 50. 50 that way, 32 that, oh, that way. There we go. Um, so I'm going to have to chop through that, unfortunately. If I can get back far enough, I might put a piece of timber in going along there. But, um, yeah, or maybe I'll put one in going that way. Maybe I'll try and put some su the support around this. I can't talk today. Uh, maybe I'll try and put some su support around this. But I've got a feeling that if that's going to go... Let's just put it on the timber for a sec. Something like that. Uh, I've got a feeling I'm going to have to cut all this out and then this will sit down. I mean, this will be under my seating area. Um, but yeah, um, it's not great. I am indeed starting to wonder whether if I should just move it back and drill a couple more holes and just do it like that. Right, guys, so... I've got an issue with my diesel heater. Unlike Mel's World, this is what I'm missing. You only sent me one of these. Now, luckily, this is quite easy to replace. It'll just take about a week to get here because they're not on Amazon Prime. So, yeah, I've got to order some more of these because it's only come with one. And I need, I don't know, like five or six. Um, it did come with the larger ones for the... So uh, it did come with the larger ones to attach it to that and that pipe, obviously. But, um, yeah, it didn't come with enough of these. And these are used for the muffler, exhaust pipe at both ends, and the air intake. So, um, yeah, I've also seen an Australian who put one of these in. It had some heat shrink wrap stuff to go around the exhaust. I also haven't got that, so, um, yeah, although I've got my controller, as you can see, I'm going to have to wait before putting the exhaust and stuff in until I've got more of these. And these are the screw ones. Come on camera, focus. They're the screw ones, not the uh, the bolt ones. Although I think you'd probably attach a, uh, whatever you call it, hex bit or whatever to it and tighten that up. These are the screw ones, which I don't really like. But um, yeah, so that's a bit of an issue. I'm gonna have to wait before putting the exhaust in, which is a friggin' disaster. But hey, never mind. I'll see you in a bit. Peace.